What's the secret of a happy life? Well, a study by the National Centre for Social Research found that a good night's sleep tops the list. Feeling well-rested is much more important than a pay rise. The researchers say a secure job and strong family relationships are also important to a content, well-lived life. Well, I'm joined now by the man who led that research, Ian Mohern, who's the Director of Consulting at Oxford Economics, and the man who paid for it, the Sainsbury's Chief Executive, Mike Coop. So, Ian... Pay rise is really less preferable than a good night's sleep, really? Well, this is what our responses to our survey and our analysis shows. Did but you I only talk to rich people? Not at all. We spoke to a full, full spectrum of people in the country. I think there's something important to remember, though, that's that that's the, we find that you know, having, when pay is low and when people are in debt, that has a very negative effect on people's well-being. Once people have a certain amount, it takes a lot to really boost happiness. Money matters, but just not as much as lots of other things. And job security, you always put... Uh, quite a high value on as well. Do you think that's just because it's not at the forefront of people's minds right now? It could be, it could be. I mean, we have some people in there who are very secure in their jobs and they consistently show much higher levels of, of living well, essentially. So, uh, but if, you, if you're on that kind of, like, less secure jobs, it, it has a serious impact and you're, you're close to being, you know, if you're unemployed, that has a really negative impact. So, Mike, you're going to use this information to inform decisions on how you run the business. How, how's that going to map out? What sort of things do you have in mind? Well, I think the, th the three broad constituencies. First of all, of course, the people that work in our business and understanding a little bit more about uh, how we might be able to help them live their lives better is, is one thing that we, we would be looking at and would take the information, the data from the survey to help us do that. Secondly, of course, our customers. Uh, and again, understanding and having more insight into what makes our customers tick is a great thing for a supermarket chain to be able to do. It's a game of inches, so every bit of insight that you have above and beyond your competition is, is helpful. And perhaps the third thing is to contribute to a sort of broader national narrative, because um, you know, in sort of austerity Brexit Britain, it does feel that there are great things in life that sometimes get overlooked. And I think the survey shows that quite a lot of the small things in life are actually things which are very important to people. So does that mean Sainsbury's is going to give all its staff pay rises then to make them feel happier? Well, we've already given our staff uh, a pretty significant pay rise this year, a 4.4% pay rise on top wow. of a 4% pay rise the previous year. So uh, we're well above the national um, living wage, the national minimum wage as it currently is. Um, but as the survey says, and I experience day to day in our shops, um, our colleagues quite often are the pillars of the communities that they serve or that we serve, uh, they have things going on outside their working life um, and working in a supermarket chain allows them to have the flexibility to do those things. So actually when I speak to our colleagues, they, they rarely talk about pay, uh, they talk about other things in their life. But you're not miracle workers, how can you guarantee that the country is going to sleep better at night? Uh, that's one thing I can't guarantee, <laughs> but of course having the insight at least gives you some um, potential um, opportunities to perhaps help. Now, one of the things we'll be doing over the next period of time is understanding um, exactly what we might be able to do with the data. The other thing that's worth thinking about is well, this will be a continuous survey so we can see changes over time. Good stuff. All right, Mike Cope and uh, Ian Mohan, thanks very much for joining me both. Good to see you.